What's up everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my updated makeup routine. I have a ton of new products. I'm just staring at them. I have a bunch of new products. I definitely do things a little bit differently now as well. I am a true believer in less is more and I'm slowly perfecting the way that I like to look. So if you are interested in getting a light, fresh, natural, like glowy look, then just keep watching. I always start off with a chapstick. I also always line up my products in front of me to make sure that I don't miss a step because I have been such an airhead lately. So I've been alternating between two different primers. I got this one as a sample when I picked this one up. So this is the Tatcha Liquid Silk Canvas. I have been loving this one, but I also use this one. I used to be obsessed with the YSL Touche Eclat foundation and nothing has changed. I'm absolutely obsessed with the primer. This is a blur primer. So this definitely does blur out my skin, but then it does give me a healthy glow at the same time. I think I'm going to use, I'm gonna use the YSL one today. I don't think enough people talk about it and everyone's obsessed with Tatcha. So let's give them a break and I just rub it in in small circular motions. I self tanned like an hour ago. I use the Loving Tan Express um, in medium. I don't use anything too dark just because I am so light, I don't need to overdo it. Next, I'm gonna go in with the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation. This is an oldie, but a goodie. I'm gonna shake it up a little bit. I don't know if this is necessary, but I do it with like all of my products. This picks up on camera and photos so well it's incredible it's great coverage for the redness on my cheeks as well look at that glowing i don't like a matte finish i like a satin natural finish to my makeup i don't want to look like i'm wearing so much i just want my natural features to look the best that they possibly can and i'm not doing full pumps either i'm doing tiny amounts because i don't want to overdo it with the product i also stopped using a beauty blender and I only use brushes to apply all products now. I think that they blend out a lot better. It's a quicker application. Next I'm going to go in with NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I love this concealer but I hate it at the same time because I feel like after a week of use it's gone. Like I have to literally scrape out the bottle in order to get any product and I don't even use a lot of concealer. I only put it under my eyes. So I'm gonna go in with an IT brush. This is the Airbrush Blurring Concealer in number 103. I also tried a new eye oil and it had a metal ball roller on it and I am extremely allergic to a lot of metals and it broke out my eyelids so if you notice some drier patches it's because i have not been putting any form of eye cream on my eyes and i have those little dry patches right now from the rash so to set my under eyes and the rest of my face i have been using the airbrush flawless finish in medium i is it medium yeah i guess it is medium i have noticed that if i pick up a little bit too much product and i try to put it on my under eyes it does pick up darker. So instead of setting my under eyes with this today, I'm gonna go in with the Kylie Cosmetics Soft Pink Setting Powder. I wouldn't say I bake. I lightly, lightly, lightly press powder into my under eyes and then I'm good to go. So to do that, this is my absolute favorite brush. It's the Morphe M438. So I lightly, lightly, lightly dab it in product and then I tap off any excess and I'm going to press it into my under eyes because my under eyes are already so dry. I don't want a setting powder to cling to it. I believe less is more or trying to look like less is more at least. Now I'm gonna go in with a big fluffy brush. This is the Morphe E41 and blur out my base even more. I can't believe I never used to use a setting powder. This has seriously changed how my bronzer, my, bl my blush lies on my face. It's just, it's just a flawless satin finish and I'm absolutely obsessed. I have tried a couple different bronzers. I know I always show you guys this one. It's still my favorite and I'm trying to like blend out the giant mirror, but look at the giant mirror it comes with. It's a huge pan. Look at all that product. I've had this for a while now, I'm obsessed. So I'm going in with the Morphe R2. It's just a bigger bronzing brush. And I always like 
pull back this hair to make this line even more clear and defined. So you can see I already have a little bit of a line. I'm just going to throw some on. Makes so many funny faces applying makeup. <laughs> I'm like pulling my own hair, contorting my face. Sometimes I will contour my nose or I just won't. It really depends on how I'm feeling that day. I'm not truly happy with my technique or the products I've been using. So I'm gonna skip that step on camera for you guys and go into my eyes. So I put a little bit of bronzer, same bronzer that I applied to my cheeks. I do have pretty tiny eyes and when I smile, they disappear. I'm also extremely light-handed. I used to be so rough and jabbing like products onto my face. It's really not necessary if you are using great products and they're pigmented, then a little bit does go a long way. So I still use the Gimme Brow Plus. I now use it in shade three instead of 3.5. I started to notice that my eyebrows just looked too dark, especially for how light my hair was and I wanted a more natural look. So going down half a shade really did change that. It does darken my eyebrows a little bit. It definitely makes them look more defined, but it's not altering my appearance too much. I really, really, really don't like light hair with dark eyebrows, but look at that, not much of a difference. So as you can tell, a lot of these products are cult favorites. They've been around for a little while. I'm not someone that likes to waste my money buying 100 foundations. I want to find something and I want it to work and I just want to love it. So I'm going to be applying the NARS Orgasm Blush. I love how sheer it is, but it also gives a nice glow to my cheeks that I clearly already have working over here. And because I didn't contour my nose, I am going to apply a little bit to the tip. That way it looks sun-kissed and not like I've been in the house for over 30 days. I don't even know if I should do this on camera because I really haven't touched a highlighter in like eight months, I wanna say, but I used it yesterday or two days ago and I actually really liked how it looked with my new routine, so I'm gonna do it on camera, but I'm not going to do it now. I'm going to set my face first. So I've been struggling with, this is just a couple of them. I've probably tried like six in the last couple months, but I'm really a fan of the NYX Dewy Finish Long Lasting Setting Spray. I like the way that it applies. I like the way that it sets my makeup. I like the way that it sits on my face throughout the day. So I'm going to do a couple pumps, squirts, sprays. That was like a dozen. And while that is melting into my face is when I'm going to apply the highlighter. So I'm using Becca Cosmetics highlighter in opal. So I'm using a Morphe M510 brush and I am so ever so lightly going to apply it. See where the light is already picking up on my cheekbones? That is where I'm going to apply it and then just dust it over my nose. If I do have a lot of texture on my cheeks, I definitely wouldn't use a highlighter or I won't use a highlighter. So I'm finally down to one eyelash extension. I don't know if you guys can even see it. There's one, it's a single one hanging on. I'm not gonna pluck it, I'm gonna let it rock. It's been a long two months and it's holding on. So I picked up a new eyelash curler. This is by Shizedu. I just curl my eyelashes and then I go in with the Maybelline Lash Sensational. So if you guys have a mascara recommendation that you absolutely love, let me know in the comment section down below. Okay everyone, mascara is on and now I'm gonna finish this look with some lip gloss. This has been in every makeup video that I have ever done. It is the NYX Butter Gloss in Madeline. I have about a dozen sitting in my makeup drawer, so no lip liner or anything, so I'm just sitting around the house today. It is the perfect nude. It lasts a while, it's not sticky, it smells so good. I'm just obsessed. So that's going to be it for my updated makeup routine. It is super simple. I can do my makeup in under five minutes at this point when I'm not being a chatterbox. So thank you guys so much for watching and I can't wait to see you in my next video.